Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your business's logo, the employee's salary, and their employment basis on their pay slips. So just a couple of things before we start. This video is part of a full course. So if you want to learn more about Zero Payroll, then check out the links in the description below. Also, I use the Australian version of Zero's demo company, but you can get value out of this video no matter which country's version of Zero you're using as the principles are all the same. All right, let's jump into Zero now and see how this is done. Okay, over here in the demo company, what we're going to do is just go to the main menu and settings, and we'll go to payroll settings. And just here on the organization tab, just down the bottom here, you've got some pay slip options. So you've got show annual salary and a checkbox, and you've got show employment basis and a checkbox, and you've got a company logo upload right here. So let's have a look at the current pay slip. So if I duplicate the screen, and then we'll go into payroll and pay employees, and we'll go into this one, and then we'll view reports and just have a look at the payslips. Okay, so on Odette's payslip there, you can see there's no logo up here. So we haven't uploaded the logo yet. And we have checked the box for show annual salary. And if you hover over here, you can see it's actually only for full and part-time employees. So it doesn't apply to casuals or contractors or anything like that. And then we've unchecked show employment basis. So if we come over here, if she does have an annual salary, yes, she does. It's up there. It's 38,325. It's got her pay frequency there, which is the payroll calendar, but it doesn't have her employment basis, whether she's full-time or part-time or casual. So let's go ahead and make a few changes. So the first thing we'll do is we'll check that box. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll upload a logo. So you just click on this button. You'll get this little message here telling you that the ideal size is 529 pixels by 139 pixels. So I've created just a um, dummy one that's just in those exact dimensions. And I'll just click on browse and upload it. Okay, so done. Okay, so I've just got Zoom's logo in there actually. So if I click on save. Okay, now we'll go back to here and I'm pretty sure if we run that, yeah, that showed up there. So now that actually has applied to any pay runs that have already been posted. So you can see we've got the logo up there. We've got the annual salary still, which was all which was checked in the first place. If we uncheck that box, that line will disappear with annual salary 38325. But now because we've also checked show employment basis, we've got the employment basis there, part-time employment. Okay? So that's how you can show a bit more detail on your employees' pay slips. You've got the annual salary, you've got the employment basis, and you've got the logo. And just bear in mind that the annual salary is only for full and part-time employees.